Happy Tuesday to you. I'm Ross DiMatteo right now with your 13 Action News update. The city of Henderson is moving forward with plans for an $80 million arena to replace the Henderson Pavilion. Today, the city approved a project agreement with SK Arena. That's an affiliate of the Vegas Golden Knights. The venue will be home to Henderson's American Hockey League team, as well as the Henderson Symphony Orchestra. The city says Henderson will own the land and the building. SK will then lease it for $150,000 a year for the duration of the 20 year agreement. The project has been a large source of debate amongst residents in the Henderson area. 34 attorneys general, including Nevada's Aaron Ford, want to give marijuana related businesses access to the federal banking system. They're urging Congress to pass the Safe Banking Act. The bipartisan bill's language is written into the latest COVID-19 relief package, which was passed by the House on Friday and now moves to the Senate for a vote later on this month. Some local preschoolers are graduating in style. The YMCA of Southern Nevada held a special drive through ceremony where staff cheered on the students with balloons and congratulatory signs. You can see them all cheering for each other in the parking lot and yeah. waving to each other. And, you know, it was nice to see them all get to be together again. It's a great sight there. More than 200 students went through the graduation, and we want to congratulate each and every one of them. Significantly cooler than average temperatures for your Tuesday. We expect to top out in the mid-70s, which is almost 15 degrees below the seasonal average of 90. We'll hang out in the 70s through dinner time with a bit of a breeze still lingering. It is going to be on the cool side after the sun sets. The wind is forecast to weaken overnight into your Wednesday, and from there we warm back up. But temperatures tomorrow do stay almost 10 degrees below average in the low 80s. We'll make it back to average in the low 90s as we head into Friday. Danny, thanks so much. That was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com. Thanks so much for making 13 Action News a part of your day.